Welcome to another video guys. Today we have some huge leaks regarding the brand new Java Sail Barge. So guys, if you've been keeping up to the latest LEGO leaks for the last year or so, you'd know that we've known about UCS Java Sail Barge for a while now. LEGO put out a survey about a year ago asking um, what price point people would want to see a bunch of sets they listed. So a lot of these sets have actually come true now and we've seen them uh, be made in Lego form already and we have some more that just got leaked as well along with the sail barge that are now official sets so recently we had the X-Wing jet that came out uh, that's on shelves now we also have the X-Wing mansion that just got announced for sure that was on the survey we have the Zelda tree as well as a few Harry Potter sets um, but now we're getting this UCS job the sail barge which is huge this is one I personally am very very excited for this will probably be probably be my first UCS set I ever purchase so I'm very excited for that um, it'll be a great introduction to UCS sets for me and definitely one I'm very excited for uh, the Jabba sail barge has been an iconic thing through all of Star Wars and is one of my favorite like ships or vehicles um, I have the I don't have the newest one that came out in like 2013 but I have the oldest Jabba sail barge from like the early 2000s uh, almost like the retroized one and I love it I think it looks great the fig selection is fantastic um, I'll have to go home and get that set bring it back so we can review it soon um, but yeah super excited to get this new sail barge it's one I'm really looking forward to guys uh, so let's get into some of the details that we know a little bit more about it so. according to Brick Reporter um, this set is uh, gonna be set 76397 it's gonna have 3942 pieces so I'm guessing the price point is going to be somewhere from $400 to $500. Uh, $500 seems a little crazy if you go off of like price per brick, it being basically 4,000 pieces, which is called 4,000 pieces. So you'd think it'd be $400, but it's a sail barge. And sail barge, like the, even the one I have, it's a lot of very big pieces that make it up. So I would expect a lot of large pieces, especially to build like the front mask um, and the slope part there will be interesting to see how they do that because in the past they've really just used either like an angled um, plates which I don't think look the best or the old one which I think looks the best they use like actual like pirate ship pieces that were flipped over and inverted um, but anyways those are big pieces the sails are obviously huge pieces you need big panels to go on the side a lot of big pieces so that being said I could see this being um, a low piece count for a more expensive set because it is going to probably be a lot of pieces and that Jabba alone I don't see how we don't get Jabba in this set um, the second fig I think is debatable uh, I don't think we'll get Slave Leia I don't think there's a shot they do that because of all the controversy they've had within the past and they said they're not doing any more of it because it's like technically a uh, slave um, of Leia but uh I, they could do, uh, I always forget his name, but the little brown guy that sits on Jabba's lap, uh, maybe a Bib Fortuna. Uh, they've got that Sarlacc pick coming out, so I think all of those figs are off the table. So I don't think we'll get a Luke, a Han, a Boba, a uh, Lando, like a Pirates, a Gamorrean Guard or anything like that. I think all those are gone. I would expect this set to only have two figs to stick to that kind of UCS style of two figs. I think that honestly works best with this set if you just have Jabba and one other fig. Um, I don't think there's any way they could do the set without doing Jabba, at least in the same year. I don't I don't think it'll sell nearly as well if they don't do Jabba. Um, so to see a new Jabba will be cool too because we've only had two of them. He's obviously a, a very unique fig to get, so that'll be neat. But if I had to guess, I don't think they'll do a Bauchelet just because that's too inaccurate. Now, I know Lego's not perfect on stuff and they do plenty of inaccurate stuff. <laughs> But like that just makes absolutely no sense. It's a uh, October 2024 release, so we can expect this to be about the same release uh, as the Venator, the same time frame. So a few more months, but I'm already gonna start stashing a little bit of money aside every now and then. Throw a little ten bucks uh, aside, put it in a probably mason jar or something. Be my uh, barge fund. <laughs> so super excited for that. But this is probably one of the this is the most hype set for 2024 for me. I've always wanted this set in a UCS form and now that I'm just kind of getting to the point where I can afford UCS sets, I really just want this to be my first one I buy. Um, I also have said this on the channel other times, the Cantina is something I plan on picking up this year. So to have the Cantina paired with Java Sail Barge with the old Java Sail Barge is something I'm very excited for. I really love Tatooine as a planet so I have a lot of Tatooine themed sets. 
Um, and I think it's just going to go great with so many of those that I have. And that Sarlacc Pit too, that's going to be a great pairing with it. I'm really excited they're doing that. That leak got me even more hyped for this Java Sail Barge. So let me know down in the comments, guys, what you think about this leak and if you're going to be picking up the Sail Barge. But thanks for stopping by another video, guys. As always, make sure you go smash that like button and subscribe because we got leaks coming out all the time. It's kind of a leak season right now. So if you want to stay up to date with the most recent stuff, make sure you drop a sub on this video. Until then, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.